put the team on my back I do it all for the family Everyone that they can rap Nobody ever gon' challenge me Starting my week on a Sunday And then they can make it a Yo, 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 what's going on? It's the NOC, the Nerds of Color And I'm here with a knock exclusive It's your boy, Kuya P And I'm excited and, to the, and delighted To be joined by some Paper Tigers, y'all Cause, uh, yeah, man, it's Paper Tigers time We're gonna have fun Elaine Owe and Mikkel Shannon Jenkins What's good, man? It's, what's it's, good, it's bro? Cool. That's really good, bro What's really good? You tell Man. me. Energy. <laughs> I, I, I'm so uh, happy to be uh, with you guys right now. I had a lot of fun uh, watching the film. Uh, me and my partners, uh, uh, they, they wrote, they wrote with me too, and we, 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 we just had fun. We actually dropping a review right now, uh, so, so everybody can hear about it. But we, we want more. We want more. Uh, yes, but sir. before we, before we get it in, I want, I want to kick it off with, uh, you know, with, with uh, uh, shows like Warrior, Kung Fu, Mortal Kombat, and now Paper Tigers joining that pantheon uh, of martial arts films there's is, there's kind of like a renaissance going on right now uh what do you think it is about martial arts films and tv shows that just everybody just gravitates towards it oh man that's a deep <laughs> Mikhail. you want to take this one <laughs> Bad ass mother wait a minute okay uh, <laughs> do i say what i want to say or do i need to pg it it's all uh, good we, we all good here badass motherfuckers bro like uh, since Bruce Lee set the table, it is what it is. If you can approach another man without an instrument other than your arm and leg and put work on him, who don't want to be that dude? Who yeah. don't want to be that dude? So the I, I don't. It, I, that's why you don't even really need a great plot. If you got some good work in it, we coming. Blood sport. I mean, come on, bro. That, I don't know what the plot was, but the work in it, good. So like. I, all my people, we really want to see that work. Now I'm I'm super excited about PT because it's got it's got something you bring your girl along, you know your little ones along. It's got something for them too. But it got that work. But it got something for them too. But badass. I mean, that's all I want to be like. So taking these whippings, taking these L's was a little tough for a brother. <laughs> yeah. Took some L's to get the W. Took some L's to get the W. But um, just be okay. bad. I think oh, man. I feel that. I feel that. How about you, Elaine? I, it is a renaissance. I mean, it, it's it's uh, you know it's cyclical in that regard, right? Like we 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 hadn't had seen a lot of these sort of martial arts, you know, kung fu action movies in a while. In fact, you know, our, our film is really grounded in that regard. It's 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 not you know uh, you know high wire you know CG heavy. Much like some of the the, the 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 stuff that's out there right now, but what we have is heart, and at the at, it all boils down to good story and good 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 screenplay, good acting, um, good writing, um, and yeah, we put in that work too, as Mikhail has just mentioned. So I think it's a combination of all those things. But yes, I, I do feel like it's a bit of a renaissance, and and people are, are hungry for this kind of material, this type of content. We are, and we love it, and, and I'm happy to see the Paper Tigers join that grouping of amazingness, so uh, love it, love it. Yes, uh, in this film, we get to see your characters get involved with martial arts from the very beginning, um, and, and uh, another great set of actors uh, playing your, 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 your teen versions. I know that was kind of interesting. Uh, mm. As an actor myself, seeing people play the young, your young selves, it's kind of, okay, do I get a choice in that a little bit? I don't know, uh, but they did a great job. Uh, do you each recall for yourselves when you uh, personally discovered martial arts uh, in real life for yourselves? Uh, and what was that experience like? Um, I think for me, it's kind of a rite of passage being Asian that you at least have to go through some kind of like martial arts training. I, I don't know. Uh, but it, 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 it's... Um, for, for me, the, the first introduction or the entry point for martial arts, it's always going to be Bruce Lee. Um, he's an icon. He's a legend in the community and in, in the world. Um, so just even for my brothers, just seeing him as a person, uh, of, uh, uh, a model in, in, that, in this instance, uh, someone you see on film that, that has good virtues and who's impressive and will put that work in, as, Ms., uh, as Mikhail has mentioned. The, that's, that's, but, the, that's the one. That's, that's the one. That's the one. That's the goat. 
he's the goat, right? So yeah. I, I think for me that 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 is the introduction of that, and and obviously all the other subsequent films that I watched afterwards, I mentioned before, like Last Dragon, um, you know, even like Big Trouble Little China. Like I love those kinds of things where it's layered and there's different kinds of aspects of culture and everything else. I, I enjoy those kinds of films. So that that's my my history and my my uh, introduction to to uh, to martial arts. Okay. What about you, Mikkel? Well, I was in the bathroom one time in high school. True story. And uh, this, this this Asian cat walked in. He had tats all on his neck. He just looked like somebody you shouldn't be effing with. And uh, uh, these three dudes decided they're going to come in after him and put the trash can up against the door. I'm on the toilet, and I look over the top of that thing, and I say, hey, hey, I said, help. I say, hey, I don't know, bro. <laughs> My man, he got stuff on his neck. I, I don't know if you want to do that. And for some reason, they didn't hear me. And this dude, I mean, in about 15 seconds, he put some work on these three dudes. It was legendary. And then walked and then moved a little trash can, walked over. I, I just told him, I'm not with him. I'm not with him, bro. <laughs> he walked out, and I said, you know what? That might be safer than a gun. You might want to learn how to do some of that stuff because that might be safer than a gun. That ain't gonna go off un unexpectedly in a kid's hand. And and from that point on, I was like on the hunt for attack mechanisms that can help me in combat situations. Okay. Because you know, in the South, you can always find yourself in a combat situation. <laughs> <laughs> so you, so you uh, went to school? Did you, did you get some uh, training as a kid? Uh, so I so I got out some venues, but the problem with karate is the discipline. Yeah. And they want to teach you how to defend yourself and they want to be slow about teaching you how to attack. I'm trying to attack somebody and you want to teach me how I don't want no, no discipline. I want to be undisciplined. <laughs> but they, they didn't hear that. I had to go through the belts and all that. So I left that and got into boxing because boxing is mm. an attack. Okay. That's what I that's what I kind of went to for, for that relief. And then Crowd McGraw came along and it's like, but it still never doesn't have the beauty, bro. Yeah, doesn't have the beauty that the it's martial arts and they call it arts for a reason. It's mm. Beauty, mm. Right? And, um, that's the part that they don't tell you if you don't do it, if you don't go through the slow process to get to mm -hmm. the it's gonna be messy and junky. You might be lethal, but it's gonna be junky, it won't be pretty. Mm. Okay, so I. That was my introduction. That dude put some, <clears throat> some <laughs> he put some Tabasco on that butt. I was like, wow. Great, oh, great, great with it. Yeah, I love it. Thank you for sharing that. That's hilarious. Um, yeah. So Paper Tigers, man, I love the film. Uh, the, the film succeeds for me uh, because of the chemistry between uh, you, uh, you and Elaine and, and Ron. Uh, you guys are amazing, man. I, I really enjoyed uh, the three of y'all, you know, doing your thing. Uh, for, for my audience, can you tell us uh, a little bit about your characters, uh, yourself uh, individually, and then maybe a little bit about the other. So Elena, uh, if I can go back to you, if you can tell, talk about your yeah. character, and then uh, to go to once you're done, to throw it to uh, my man, Mikel, a little bit about his character. I want to kind of like see a little bit, because I already know yeah. from watching the film how y'all feel about each other, but I, I kind of want to see that a little bit of that vibe. Yeah, uh, no, D Danny. You you get to meet Danny in, in various parts of his life uh, in this movie, and you get to see a very young, brash version of him. And I think we could all relate to that type of energy, uh, you know, that type of like, um, you know, sh cocksuredness of, of a person, and and that 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 you you don't have the logic part of your brain there yet, and just kind of ru running on raw emotion and just raw intensity. Um, and then you get to meet another version where who is who's a little bit. Uh, you know, weathered and, and life has gotten to him a little bit. And so Danny is that guy. Danny is that person that we find ourselves in, in the middle of our life and, you know, kind of in the middle age uh, period of their, their life. And in some ways we trying to figure out what, what's next. And that's who Danny is. And, and that's who Danny is to me. And I, I think Mikhail, Mikhail's character, Jim, it follows a very similar path. Um, but but uh, decides to go in a different way. Um, he is a survivalist, um, a person who, if uh, one door closes, he's going to move on to the next. And I think he's he's a person who's seeking family, he's seeking something that that is more 
uh, has a stronger foundation. Seems like a character who didn't have that uh, growing up, and that's why he was part of this sort of uh, you know communal tribe that we have that 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 was part of Sifu Sifu's um, you know teachings. And so that's that's how I see it. And same with Hing, the Hing character is a person that that is um, is the glue uh, of the crew, and is is heartbroken that that the crew is no longer the brotherhood is no longer a viable thing for him. So that's why I think these characters are. Okay. How about you, Mikkel? How would you describe your character? Well, I, I think Jim, as my man said, he's a survivor. But he's also that that dude who like wasn't quite as gifted as the two guys around him, so he's the biggest shit talker. Like, I'm the showman. You understand what I'm saying? And the thing about the showman is you don't ever leave you lose your mouth. You you know, you lose the willingness to back it up, but the mouth can it always, you know. So so I think um, I see him as a guy like who who had to build himself, uh, who had to kind of like introduce himself into the space he wanted to be in and then try to work his way into that space. And as long as he had his brothers with him, that space was filled. And when he stepped away from it, just that loss of identity, you know, you are what you are when you're around the people who know who you are. Otherwise, you're trying to figure it out. And he, he got away from his base, and uh, now he's just, like, trying to figure it out, like, the purpose for it all. Like, it can't be money because it doesn't hold up. So what is it? And and then, you know, the beauty of, of having my man, uh, Ying, and, and, and Elaine come in is, like, um, he it, they instantly give him – um, value, you know, value when he was mm -hmm. feeling valueless, and and then you know, watching how Danny Eighthands was like his like dude, and has now become like the shell of that. Like it's it, it it actually gives him more value because he he starts to see how important he was in that energy because Danny's not not what he remembered him to be, but you know how friends are? This is why you are the sum of the people you keep closest to you. They mm -hmm. can get it out of you. Like when mm -hmm. nobody else can get the magic out, that dude who knew you when you were magical, he can get it out of you. He can remind you, make you believe. Even if it's just for a moment, you got something left. And um, I felt... I, I always felt like that's what friends do is that they give you that word. Either it's harvested or it leads to the drought. That's why you have to be careful about the people you seek counsel from. So mm -hmm. like finding my purpose helped create a purpose. And then we get to live in the purpose. You know what I mean? So I love that. Yeah. That's a great way to finish this off, man. Uh, again, uh, I think this film succeeds on the chemistry of, of all three of you guys. Uh, Miss Ron, uh, hopefully I'll get you another go round, but uh, Elaine and, and Mikkel, man. Uh, again, I wanna thank y'all for your time. Uh, the, uh, the last thing I also wanna say about this is just, as being the nerds of color, we're all about representation. And I love that y'all are repping so hard in this film. See y'all just- so much joy, so much joy, man. Oh, man so, boy. Thank y'all, man. Rats, bro. We need part That's two. I, I need another one. Don't That's all I got. Put it. him on the list. Put it on it. Put, Put him on the list. list. Put it Put in the universe, list. homeboy. All right, y'all. Let's make it happen, y'all. Hey, Elena Wee, Mikhail Channel Jenkins, your boy Kuya P, the Nurse of Color Man. Appreciate y'all. Thank you, Kuya P. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. Thank and you, thank, you. thank you, brother. Thank you, Pat.
We got our action hey. figures. Oh, cool, cool your pee in the building. What's up, bro? <laughs> what's, what's up, good? dog? Hey, what's up, Mikel? Oh, Mikel, right? Yeah, bro. You got it right. You're the first one to pull it out the pocket. I love it. I'm trying, man. I'm trying, man. Hey, great to see y'all, man. It's a pleasure. Um, yeah, are, are we starting now? So I know when to, yeah, to get it in. over to you. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna do my little intro to bring it in and we'll have fun, man. It's a pleasure. Elaine, great to see you again, brother. And, and Mikhail, a pleasure, my man. Thank you for your time. All right. Yes, 